everyone, I am Fajra Yongchen III. I am a young reincarnated being from the Tasmanian Chinese Buddhist Academy of Australia. Here I am at the venue of the Gengzi Year, Year of the Red Chinese New Year Banquet, held at Buddhist Academy. Today is the first day of the Gengzi Year of the Red. Old and new friends are invited to share this joyous and auspicious occasion with us. Now, let me show you around. The banquet is held in the Tasman room of the Rest Point Hotel of Hobart. Traditional Chinese decorations adorn the banquet hall. Look at the rat mascot at the back of the hall. It's 9 meters tall. Isn't it giant? It's now 6 o'clock in the evening and the guests are starting to arrive. We are especially privileged and honoured that Consul General Mr. Longzhou from the Consulate General of the People's Republic of China in Melbourne joined us at our banquet and rang in the new lunar year in Tasmania. The banquet starts with the Welcome to Country, performed by Aboriginal elder, Auntie Eva Richardson. Then, everyone stands for the National Anthem of Australia and China. Master Zhu Ji, President of the Tasmanian Chinese Buddhist Academy of Australia, gives a warm welcome address, wishing all guests a prosperous, peaceful and auspicious year of the rat. Master Zhu Ji also shares with everyone a wonderful news application to rezone the land on which the proposed Tasmanian Chinese Cultural Park of Australia will be built has finally been approved. It was a process which lasted 20 years and there's no better way to learn of this good news than at the start of a new decade. He expresses his gratitude to the Australian government and the Australian people for their great support and acceptance. He also thanks his motherland China and Chinese people all over the world for their encouragement and help. Dignitaries including the Honourable Elise Archer MP representing the Premier of Tasmania, the Honourable Peter Gutwin MP, Consul General Mr Longzhou of the Consulate General of the People's Republic of China in Melbourne, the Honourable Craig Farrell MLC, President of the Legislative Council of Tasmania, the Honourable Sue Ki MP, Speaker of the House of Assembly, the Right Honourable the Lord Mayor of Hobart, Councillor Anna Reynolds, Mr David Daniels OAM, Chairman of Crime Stoppers Tasmania, Mr Brian Chung, President of the Chinese Community Association of Tasmania, Mr Alfred Merce, Conference Manager of West Point Hotel, go up to the stage and offer the words of wisdom to all. While all guests savour delicious Chinese food in the fusion of Eastern and Western cultures, performances including dancing and singing, piano solo and action Diana Durrani demonstrations entertain guests. According to traditional Chinese customs, Chinese New Year is also known as the Spring Festival, or in Mandarin, Chun Jie. It is the most important celebration in the lunar calendar. Each year is named after one of the 12 zodiac signs. Rat is the first of the 12 zodiacs. It represents spirituality and strong vitality. Hence, the year of the rat will be a year of great changes, a year filled with spirituality and vigor. All over the world where there are Chinese people, traditional celebrations and performances can be seen. Dragon and lion dances, ethnic dances, carnivals, parades, Lighting up of firecrackers are some of the most common celebratory activities. Red is the lucky colour, and decoration like red couplets and paper cuttings can be seen everywhere. Family members gather to share special New Year food and snacks for the symbolic meaning. During the banquet, Master Juji went around each table and offered New Year wishes to everyone. Guests also exchanged messages of goodwill. 
the night is filled with a harmonious and warm atmosphere. We are privileged that some of the guests share their experience of the night with us. The evening's been a wonderful uh, celebration of not only the Chinese uh, Lunar New Year but our local community coming together with Master Wang's uh, Buddhist Academy and uh, enjoying all of the performances as well and, and uh, the big family time together. I did very much enjoy it tonight. Uh, Master Wang is very generous in uh, organising this wonderful celebration so it was wonderful. Absolutely fabulous night. And the beauty of it is, is the camaraderie of everyone who's in this room and the warmth of feeling that comes through. And I have a great gratitude to Master Wang for bringing such a diverse group of people together. It's a magnificent night. I think that as a student or a member of our Hwangshan Hwangshan Hwangshan, we are together with each other, every year we are together. We have a warm feeling for the Hwangshan 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 the dancers, the decorations are extraordinary. The background on the stage is just lovely. I want the rat. Probably Sue Hickey speaking, because she reminded us what Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year is about, about families coming together and friends coming together. I think the lion dance, have to say that every year it is the lion dance, and especially this year we've got three lions and the small ones as well. They offer everyone their New Year wishes too. New Year wish is for peace and happiness. May happy, prosperous, peaceful year. Uh,考验,武汉封城。当我们在海外庆祝中国新年的时候,我们希望我们的祖国能够坚强。for us, it's the beginning of the 12 zodiacs, so I believe it's a year of beginning and it signifies the prosperity and wealth of all sentient beings. And I wish everybody Happy New Year! I wish that Tasmanian's rocks were less harder so scientists could discover dinosaur bones. China Cultural Museum can be built This is my As the finale of the banquet, all guests join hands together and sing all in sign for the unity of mankind. As Master Juji once said, in this ever-changing era, what remains unchanged is our dream. Our spiritual values, our spiritual life view, and our spiritual cosmic view. This message embodying aspiration echoes strongly in the mingling of friends. As new friendships were established, and old friendships rejuvenated. We thank everyone who attended. Your presence and friendship is what contributed to the success of the night and what we cherish dearly. Finally, we wish you a happy Chinese New Year.